It is 6 a.m. on Christmas Eve and we are racing our way through Heathrow Airport right now uh, to get into the lounge, have some breakfast before our flight. Okay, our gate's already open, so we're gonna have to very quickly eat this breakfast and then run off to get our flight to Iceland, which is where we're gonna be spending Christmas this year. Can't wait, really excited. So here we are in the middle of Reykjavik and the reason why I'm doing this video now is because we're probably not going to be able to run here. I don't know where we're going to be able to run in this condition. I've already fallen over and hurt myself once so far on this trip. So look at the sights now of Reykjavik and I'll just run wherever I can. It's probably going to be a very short one because it's very slippy and I don't want to fall over again. So let's see what happens. So we are currently walking on a frozen lake here. There's a corner of the lake over there where they, they actually pour in hot water, two hot water outlets that keeps that part unfrozen. That's where all the birds go. And then for us, we can just walk on layers of ice and snow out here. It is the morning of Christmas day and we are walking on our way to the Blue Lagoon, which is where we're gonna spend our morning. The sunrise is just about to happen. Uh, and we're gonna hopefully be out in the hot pools, enjoying the water, feeling warm as the sun rises for Christmas day. So here we are, the sun is rising behind us over those hills. It's Christmas day and we are in the Blue Lagoon. Nice and toasty, very steamy in here. I promise we will get to the running at some point, but we're just, <laughs> we're just enjoying ourselves a little bit first. Okay, so we are finally ready for the part where we actually do some running. That is the Polan behind us, which sits on a bit of a hill that overlooks all of Reykjavik. We've got amazing views. If you were expecting this to be a proper intense run, you're going to be disappointed. I have made the decision that I'm not going to change out of any of these clothes. I'm wearing jeans. I'm, I'm literally running in jeans. Oh, there we go. We started. Oh, this is deep. This is very deep. It's right up to here. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I almost slipped over. Go on, keep running. That over there is not necessarily the sunset or the sunrise, it's just as high as the sun gets at this time of year in Iceland. It never really gets any higher than that. Which, which means that the golden hour here at this time of year just lasts the whole day, although the day lasts from about 11.30 till 3.30, so not very long. So beautiful here. This little forest in the middle of Reykjavik, full of trees. If you didn't know, Iceland has a bit of an issue because it used to be covered in quite a lot of forests. And then many, many years ago, the inhabitants chopped them down. And now most of Iceland is desolate with no trees. So. There you go. Which way are you going? <laughs> if you 
people coming down on sledge. And so we're back where we started and ending that run. So that's our shortest run to date, less than one and a half kilometers, but absolutely fantastic. Lots of fun running in the snow, in a snowy forest. How great is that? <clears throat> so we're back in the car now, just chilling out after that, running the snow, we'll make up our hands again. Will is drinking warm water from a flask from this morning. Will, how did you find that running in snow? Oh, it's interesting. Um, great view. Yeah, great view over Reykjavik. Ah, and now we can relax. Our run for Christmas Day is done. Where are we going to do our Christmas Day run next year? Who knows? That's something to think about, a plan for. Happy Christmas, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.